Hi, I'm Brian from the Casual Tryhard Podcast, and we are doing another Midnight Hunt Premiere Draft. Or, you know, the Let's Draft Black uh, set. Hmm. Alright, so let's get this to a view where you can actually see stuff. Sorry about that. Every time, right? Okay. So, Champion of the Perished, fine. Uh, could be good in blue-black. Uh, I don't want to be green. Blue greens, whatever. So, it's I want to take Champion of the Perished or Falcon Abomination. Like those are my two. I'm gonna take Champion, and hopefully we get some Falcon Abominations later. But there's really no other picks here, right? The red cards are whatever. The green cards, whatever. The white cards are whatever. So I'm gonna take the rare and hopefully get a couple Falcon Abominations. Uh huh. Um. Well, a startle. So is there an uncommon? So there's an uncommon missing. It could be like infernal grasp. We're gonna take a startle here. Just settle right in the blue black. Uh, other like. Gale Drifter is kind of the other choice, but we'll just take a startle. Um, let's see here. This card's good. I'm a fan. Um, there wasn't a black card last pack. So I want to take Gavany Dawnguard because there's a chance I end up white black. Another, another place I like to be. I like to be in the Esper colors, as you have seen if you've watched any of my recent drafts. Um, Alright, so... Well, this is just an easy Silver Bolt. Like, this is whatever. Um, Silver Bolt, 100% I play it in every deck. And, uh, yeah, like... These white cards all come around late if I end up white-black. So, yeah. Take that. The the blue black uh, uncommon is fine, but I think it needs like synergies. Like you need something to pay you off for like sacrificing zombies. So I've got a first pick black card, a blue card, and a white card. All right. So what do we have here? <sighs> Crook and counterpart has been annoying, but. Not enough that I'm going to take it. I think we're just going to take the Naval Gas uh, Intruder. I guess we could end up blue-white. But we don't really have the deck for that right now. Right, in Startle. Maybe I shouldn't have taken Startle. Second pick. You know, trying to, like, steer myself into blue-black. The thought process was, right, you could have a Champion of the Parish. And then you Startle something, make it smaller, get a zombie, grow your Champion and attack. Right. That is a reasonable plan. All right, blue white works really well when you have a bunch of uh, like I think the only ones that are really good are when you have like six or seven of the disturbed creatures and you just are like constantly churning through and have, making your opponent kill everything like three times. All right, speaking of uh, all right, so bait hook angler or silver bolt. I guess is what it comes down to. And again, I'm going to take Silver Bolt. Like, I don't have to commit myself to a color. Because really, I am... Right, Startle's whatever, right? It's my second pick, but what it was it's whatever. Uh, like, Silver Bolt, I know I'm going to play. Right? And I... And Bait Hook Angler is really good. But I think Silver Bolt just does more. So, yeah, I think we're we're good with that. Because what if we end up, you know, uh, black white, right? And then we don't play the blue. Then we don't need the the bait hook angler, but we would definitely play the silver bolt. So I've, I've got to make up for taking aggressively taking that startle. Aggressively taking a start. Like, I haven't played, like, red-green once. Because, like... Alright, so what do we have here? Um... 
Like, this is like a blue-red spells card. I'm kind of far from that. We're early. Um, so... I've not seen any other blue-red spells stuff. Yeah, this is where you want to be. Hmm. I'm going to take this on a goof. All right. With the thought that maybe we get there, maybe we don't. Well, here's another blue-red spells card. All right. We've got, we've got a brew going down here. And that's like the the upside of taking silver bolts is like I didn't commit myself to another color. So, right, if I start getting blue-red spells cards, which, you know, that deck might be whatever, right, I cut two cards, and now I actually have a deck, right? Now, again... Startle is probably a bad pick, but I have like a functional deck that has like a plan. Like I can start taking considers. Maybe I get the one three. Um, but I'm also like not so far down the road that I couldn't like abandon ship into black white again. And so like ending up in not black is going to happen as uh, everyone starts to realize that black is the best color it's gonna become harder and harder to draft well this pack is just god awful um i don't want that i don't know I have no idea what that even is even good for maybe packs betrayal we'll take a packs betrayal because it's like in color so this is fine, but whatever. Blade Brand, Rotten Reunion. We'll take a Vandal. Right, we want some Geist Waves. Right, if you're... I think Blue-Red is very, like, aggressive, tempo-y kind of thing. Again, no one wants to be green. Of these cards, the only one I could conceivably play is the Bad Artifact Creature. So we're going to take the Bad Artifact Creature, just in case. Right, so what I really want is the one three. Uh, oh well, this is this is really late. Like this is kind of a sign. Uh, I'm gonna take this because we could end up red white. Like this card's really good, and we have some reasonable red creatures. Our blues, whatever. So right now we are in the midst of kind of train wrecking ourselves because there's not a clear direction to take. All right, well, this is a blue-red spells kind of card. Right, where you're just like, I need to get perfect. Okay, so, oh. Um, oh, another Falcon Abomination. Okay, well, the pick here is pretty easily Papa Stitcher, right? So we kind of backed our way into blue-red spells, and that seems okay. Um, I think Organ Hoarder is just good regardless of the deck, right? Like, and maybe Revenge of the maybe the Revenge of the Drowned fits better in this deck, but I think Organ Hoarder is just too good. Oh, this is the blue-white uncommon that kind of makes the blue-white, uh, um, what's it called? The blue-white spirits deck really good. Or disturbed. Oh, hey, another... Oh, God, we could have had all the Falcon Abominations, but we have another Spell Room Painter. Alright, what is this here? Vampire Guy. Um... All right, so, hmm, how many spells do I have? Because I'm I'm debating between like this Neonate's Rush and the Stinger. I got four spells total. 
Um, I think this is just overall way more powerful. But I do need to bring my curve down and get some spells happening in here. Um, I don't want another 4-drop. I'm going to take Revelation. Right, because I need... I need a bunch of spells for the Poppet Stitcher now. Right? Some more Festival Crasher. So when I had this deck before, it was all, like, Geist Waves. I had three Festival Crashers. And was just constantly, like... It was always just attacking and trying to get in damage. Like, a counter spell would be good to kind of pair with the Naval Gas Intruder. So we've got eight creatures, five spells, and though these don't trigger anything, these are spells. All right, well, play with fire is about perfect. It triggers all my stuff. It's good and cheap. I'd like a perforator. Immolation would be fine too, but you know we got to take that when you got to pop a stitcher. If we could get the Geist Cannon or whatever it is, the, the Red Rare would be great. Like three more Festival Crashers. Yeah, I think we're good on top end. Right, we just want... Now we just want, like, Considers and things that replace themselves. And, like, a few more Festival Crashers. And we should be all right. Like the even the neonite neonates whatever is solid because it's going to um right, it would replace itself because we just need to have a, a full a full grip of cards here. Um, I don't want that. So it's consider or stolen vitality. I'm gonna take the consider. If I had more creatures if i had more festival creatures stolen vitality is probably where i want to be um so i'm going to take a stinger right i'm not super excited about brimstone vandal and stinger can just sometimes be impossible to block and gets in a ton of damage and like with a raise the effigy Right, you can just get in there and like use Racy Effigy and the Stinger as basically a removal spell. All right, so another Racy Effigy, Vivisection. I already have like one. So like this is better the more cheap creatures I have. This is probably better with Poppet Stitcher. Yeah, we'll take one more thing that just draws a bunch of cards here. Right, we want to keep our hand full so we can, like, spell off. All right, and there we go. There's another Raise the Effigy. Now, we are low on creatures. Nine. I think I can get this again. I can probably get this again. But we're just going to take the Raise the Effigy. And now we're going to prioritize... Like, we want to prioritize, like, spells, matters, creatures. Like, I'm not going to be playing Pax Betrayal. Right, so we want more Festival Crashers. We want Geist Ways. We want the, the one mana bounce spell. We just want ways to get things out of the way and deal some damage. All right, so these are all bad. Um, oh man, I'm going to take Neonate's Rush. Uh, da, 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 da. So yeah, so hopefully next pack gives us some good stuff here. Uh, 
Uh, sure. We'll take this. Like, I don't want to play it, but we'll take it. Alright, and then... What is this thing? Hmm. Huh. I don't think we're about that. Well, there's Fading Hope. And a Festival Crasher. We're going to hope to wheel the Festival Crasher. And we're going to take the Fading Hope. Right? I mean, there's an argument for taking the Burn the Accursed. But I'd rather have the cheaper interactive spell. Well, this card's just nuts. So we'll take that. So... Sorry, I'm multitasking here. Yeah, so we'll take this, like, not a Spells Matter card, but just, like, generically good card. Another Stinger that we might be able to get. Uh, well, Thermal Alchemist is what we want, right? So that's good. Right, make use of all these cheap... Does it, have it does have Defender. Make use of our cheap spells. All right, so I don't think Gale Drifter is on the team. I like the the red white, red white, red blue uncommon, but not this one. The other one, um, the flyer. So do I want really none of these? Right, I don't have like I've played this and just had it whiff. I'm at like 10, but I'd rather have another cheap thing. We might not have enough, like, get out of the way things to make these raise the effigy good, but we're gonna, we're gonna find out. Right, I want that Festival Crasher to wheel. Like, that is, uh, that is what we really, really want. Um... Another Silver Bolt. Uh, I'm going to take a Stinger. Right, I've already got two Silver Bolts, and they don't kind of go with the rest of what the deck is trying to do. Right, we're going to have to make some cuts here, like cut some things that don't fit with the plan. I know, Organ Hoarder doesn't fit with the plan, but it just draws you a card as a body, so it's good enough. It is good enough, and like a Thermo Alchemist can just can do a lot of damage. Um, Alright. How many creatures do I have? Twelve... So is this or like Neonate's Rush? Hmm. Yeah. We're just gonna Neonate's Rush here, so... I don't know if this deck's gonna get there. So we're gonna stick this down there. So we know there is a Festival Crasher in our opening pack. So we're going to hope it comes around. Uh, Alright, well that's that's kind of what we want. Right, perfect. Poor Black Red. Uh, oh, man. Oh, man. I think we take the Alchemist. Like, Desperately want one of these, but I think there's one in the next pack. So. And the Geist Wave came back. We're going to take the Festival Crasher. Right, like, sneaky, make your Festival Crasher a 5-5. Five five. Probably alright. So I think that Naval Gas Intruder probably goes away now. Um, 
we got to cut a bunch of cards here. I don't need another one of these or another one of these, I don't think. Uh, how many creatures do I have? Yeah. So, like, the these cards here. Raise the Effigy, the Stinger, and, like, Fading Hope are for a more aggressively slanted deck. Um, I want to take this, but I don't think I want to play it. Uh, we're not going to play that, I don't think. Right. We're, like, you know, where you have, like, four guys, where you have, like, three or four Geist Waves, and you're just, like, I need to, every turn I'm trying to get in damage. But, like, Thermo Alchemist is more of a long game card where you're like well i'm gonna block ping you and deal damage that way so yes and we're kind of like in between we didn't get enough of the like bounce spells to get things out of the way but we also so right so you could so we don't, we don't have enough of the, like, just bounce, get things out of the way, deal damage spells. But we also don't have, like, the bigger, longer game things. So. All right. Um, so do I want. So this is just raw cards where this lets me get rid of lands. And cast it twice. I'd rather cast something twice. All right. Organ Hoarder's fine. I've got 13 creatures. So Organ Hoarder's fine. 14 really if you count Seas the Storm. All right. We've got a ton of threes. A ton of threes. Um, I could probably cut... So I am very much on the, like aggro plan here like just get little things out of the way and try to go and then just have like seize the storm at the top to like make stuff happen it's like just like go over the top so startle could go um So yeah, it's like, do I cut, I could cut one raise, one stinger, that leaves two cuts, right? So, because like, making a seize to storm token, and then giving it haste, A plus good time. Probably can cut one neonate's rush, and... Probably one electric revelation. So that gives me. So I don't want the games to go long. Unfortunately, that's what this format's about. All right, we'll give this a go. We ended up in blue red spells. We got something different cooking here. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we end up with here. So we. Oh, it actually paired. Amazing. I thought for sure I was going to have to restart. Which would have been no bueno. Alright. Yeah, this is fine. It's not great. But, right, we can deal with an early threat. We can deal with something else. We can draw through our deck. Yeah, we need a land, but... Oh, do they go at the 6, right? Six, they did. Alright, cool. Well, we have our... Um, we have our land now. Okay, blue-black. Alright, I have my organ hoarder. Alright. Disturbed guy. Okay.
So we're just gonna we're gonna play this guy. Uh Uh, we're not gonna block. That guy. Cool, cool. Alright, so... We get to kill this. Hopefully. Guess I can Geist Wave it? Yeah. Okay. I get in for three. There we go. So I'll take another hit from this three, two. I need a cheap. I need a cheaper than um three mana spell. I think though I just want the land. Mm. Maybe I should have cast Immolation on the 1-1. One, one. That might have been the way to go there. So that could be... That could, like, come back to haunt me. Yeah. Probably should have Immolated the 1-1. One, one. Because now they get to... I guess either trade or... I'm assuming they're just going to flip their 1-1. One, one. Okay, they didn't. Did they just bring this back? For four? Because, like, I'm okay with that. Right. Seems reasonable. Just comes back for three. Or four. It's four. Okay. Well, now we have a blocker. I'm just going to immolate the 1 1. I should have attacked with my 1 1. Hold up. Uh... Do they have another Geist Wave? Wow, they are, like, all in on this thing. Okay. They are all in on that thing, like, hanging around and flipping. I mean, I... I respect it, I guess. Yeah, so now they're gonna flip it. Sure. It's only attacking creature, okay. Alright, uh, no attacks. I can throw this 1-1 one, one in front.
Yeah, like ideally we draw like fight with fire so we can get two tokens out of this poppet stitcher before things go poorly. I mean the fact that they had two bounce spells to like like the fact that we fought over this thing for so long is kind of hilarious. Okay. Sure. Alright, we're gonna Guess we'll block there, go to 10. All right. Huh, this is not, it's not, not going well here. So we'll kill that. This comes back as a 2-1 flyer right here. Yeah. Alright. This guy's a 2-3. Okay. Now, I'm kind of like, I've got to play the Poppet Stitcher, and because it's only um, attacking creatures, I can't get a 2-2. So maybe I should have taken back the, the Neonates thing. Oh, god, yes, because I didn't realize I forgot this thing looted. Yes, that is that is no good, no good. I mean, we have things we can try to get out of it, but this has not been uh, a stellar showing here. Right. So now what? Yep, 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 yep. Seems bad. All right. Yeah, that did not that did not go well. See why I'm supposed to draft black? See, see what happens. All right. Well, I don't know. Just the the fact that like we fought over that. That they fought so hard over that 1-1. Uh, you know. I did miss that the opportunity to immolate it early on. And that might have changed things if they... Because that was basically their whole plan. Was to fight... Uh, was to keep that thing alive. Alright, so we're gonna go first. Yep. Imagine that black deck. I mean... Black is by far the best color, so can't be surprised, but it's just funny that, like, we're just going to play against black decks constantly. Yep. Okay. Alright. So I think we play the... What is this? Oh, the O4 that makes a thing. Alright, so... Alright, they've got a... They've got a plan. Hmm. All right, cool. We got a free damage. Alright, so they're going to ping us for one with their Siege Zombie. 
which I'm not super worried about. Hopefully we're aggressive enough that that doesn't matter. Hopefully, hopefully. Sure. Fine. Okay. Uh-huh. Play a land. All right, do I want to... Uh-huh. I think I'm going to consider... Uh, put this card in your graveyard. Gosh, the interface is so bad. Take action. And another one. And then I'm going to just kill that guy. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right. And another one. Cool. Wow. Uh, these are, this is an instant, right? So I'm gonna play a land. Uh-huh. Going to attack. Gonna discard a card. This right here. Make it bigger. And we're gonna play that. Alright. We have somewhat of a plan here. Oh no, they got rid of my thing. Oh. Okay, well. Now we're taking two a turn off the of Siege Zombie. So, boo. Okay, well, that kind of fixes that. No attacks. Okay, we're we just gonna we're just gonna get like clowned here, aren't we? Mm-hmm. Yep, I have been on the giving side of this. So yeah. If they get a land, then they can Dear God. Sure. Going to attack, all right. Um, yeah, let's hoard some Morgans. Let's see, what we hit. Um, so I can pop it. Stitcher next turn. All right. All right, or if I draw like a land, I might be able to like kill a blocker, get them to tap some things. But I think you're just going to flash this back and have a bunch of giant blockers and I'm not going to be able to get through. And the poppet stitcher won't matter. Wow, this has just been, like, awful. Okay, so do I block is the question. Um, 
My answer is no. Because the way I win is them making a mistake. Alright, because they're going to play this. They're going to tap out. Or they're going to play some stupid blob thing. And they're going to just make... Another one, and I'm going to freaking lose to that. Awesome. Well, let's deal one. Let's shoot this. Uh, yeah, I'm just dead. Wow. Okay, well, this has been awful. Just, just horrifically bad. <sighs> so, so bad. All right, well, maybe, maybe I should have taken the, uh, I didn't see that many considers to take. But... All right, well, we'll keep this. All right, this is not great, but... Yep, cool. All right. Another black... Yep. And then we're going to destroy an artifact. Play a land and say you. So I can't play my werewolf into them having that. Because if I do, it just kills my thing. Which makes me super sad. So I prefer them not to get a card this turn. I mean, I know this comes back as something. Oh, okay, we don't want that. Let's do this again. All right, we're going to get in there. Three. This comes back as a three, two, three, four, man. But it comes back with uh, for a lot. Okay. So I didn't want them to be able to draw a card off of this this turn. So all right, all right, all right, all right. So here would be like awesome to draw like a creature. Like that would be the ideal. Uh, I would decline. I am fine with discarding that. I don't like it, but I am fine with discarding that. Mm -hmm. Take this guy. Get him in for some damage, hopefully. So I'm gonna just do... No, uh, Z. So I'm gonna leave up the possibility of like drawing a shock.
Or that'll do. Alright, so now we need a land. Alright, because, like, this makes a 4 4 trampler. This gives it haste. All things are good. Ugh. God. Come on. Sure. Well, never mind. Never mind. All of those words I said were useless and dumb. Yeah. Shit, I tapped that early. Wow. There's that land I talked about that would have, that would have made a good, cre uh, good creature. That I could have got in. Uh, oh, it's a 3-3. Three, three. Oh, it counts itself. Okay. Uh, target a creature I control. That. So, they have to block the 4-3 in trade. Right? They have to. So, they lose that. Hey, we did it. We got a win. We got a win. Sorry, I'm answering student emails. Uh, uh this is fine. So, ideally they play like uh, a one toughness thing that I can snipe with the rush, pump this, and, uh, oh, they're just going to bounce this. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Not great, but it's fine. Like, I'd much rather them do it now as opposed to after I've, like, gone in to, like, pump it. I really wish they, like, I looked away for a second and I'm like, did they go top or bottom? I don't know. All right. Oh, man, it would have been perfect. Would have been perfect. Um... And yeah, we're just gonna use all of our mana. Get this thing out of there. Yeah, like if they didn't, like if they didn't have the fading hope, it would have been the perfect turn. But say lovey does not get to be the perfect turn. Hey, we're back. Yeah, we're just gonna take our take our card and our three damage. Draw an island, which is pretty sick. There we go. Uh, two cards, so. Oh. Okay. Sure. Uh huh. Hmm. Right, I can kill this kind of whenever. So. <sighs> but I want to be able to get the pings off the Thermo Alchemist. Like, that's probably where. Where the. Uh, where the most value is here. 
Because right, like next turn, I could activate the silver bolt, kill their blocker, hit for one, consider, so I can get five damage in if I wait to cast my consider, depending on what they play. But I get like no damage in off this consider if I don't wait. So it makes more sense to wait a sec. Alright, do we have a fight spell? Like, what are we doing here? Passing to attackers. Thinking long and hard about attacking. Uh, no blocks. I will take four. Are you just going to sack this and kill a thing? Okay. Sure. Oh, and then that's gonna flip. Okay. A blue source there would have been much, 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 much better. Uh, let's hit for one. Uh... Put in the graveyard. Decline. Uh huh. Let's see, do you want to? So I think I'm just gonna flip, kill this thing. And turn. So sadly, I only have like two spells in my graveyard right now. So that sucks. Okay. I just counts in exile too, so it was the. Uh huh. Okay, so if we draw a land, uh, as has been the, I guess if we draw an island, as has been the hope the whole time, okay, that's fine. All right, so what can we do here? We can do this. I think we're gonna discard that. Make that big. We're gonna play this. Bounce that. Get in for damage. All right. So they have to have like two things, right? Okay, so now they have Okay, right, now they have two blockers. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um So many things are in my graveyard right now. I guess the other thing I can do is I can Pop it, Stitcher, this, ditch a land. Alright. 
So I guess the upside of this, and if I died, so be it, was this was going to be big enough to serve as a, a blocker for the 4 force. Right, and they still can't attack. Right, if they attack with both. Yeah. Uh-huh. Gonna do this. We're gonna get play with fire. And we're just going to dome them. Alright, cool. Alright, we're back to even. We're two and two. We are two and two. Okay. So that wasn't too, too bad. A little bit of interaction goes a long way, but it was, it was close. It was too close. All right. Okay, let's see what we have here. So good news is we have something to do on three, because I don't want to... I don't want to play my Poppet Stitcher unless I know I can. Unless I know I can get my. Uh, my value. So. I'm going to wait. I'm going to play this on three. Then Poppet Stitcher plus. A spell on. Uh, on four. Beginning of your end step. So I need to put a stop here. And then shoot this guy. Okay. Perfect. Now, this all is working on the assumption that I'm going to draw a land. But, hopefully we draw a land, and... Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Um... Alright, so... I am going to play around a counter spell i guess it was memory deluge okay so all right i was a little too conservative there i was worried about i didn't want to get my poppet stitcher countered i still have two things to do is instance plus the three mana to use here so not the end of the world all right, so I'm guessing this is a three, four, and two zombies. Because it's always a three, four, and two zombies. I'm just going to take my two. Because that's whatever. Wow. Amazing. Uh-huh. So I'm just going to shoot this so I don't have to deal with it anymore. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's get our zombies here. What is this? Yeah, decline. I don't want to put. I don't want to put. I don't want to put it in my graveyard. Uh, can't block, so get in there. Okay, we are we are doing damages right now, so this is good. 
This is good. So I've got to consider I can get back. To try to flip the poppity boy. Fine. Fine. Okay. Okay, if they attack, I think, okay. So what's in there? All right, so we're going to do this. Get back, erase the effigy. We are going to not play a land so I can do the other thing. Uh, if I attack with everything, that's eight, nine, ten. Um, so I'm, I'm just going to attack with this. They can't block. We're going to pump this up. All right, and then end the turn. So they have to play multiple blockers. Like multiple, multiple blockers, or just like have, what's it called? Uh, the massacre. And they're dead. Uh, I will transform this. Yes, I will. Uh, and does this still make things here? Oh no, it does not. Maybe I wasn't supposed to transform it? Uh, I think I was. I honestly don't think it matters. Oh, I guess it did. I guess it did. Uh, not great. Oh, and it doesn't matter. Sure. Resolve. So we're going to end the turn. This guy triggers. They're done. There we go. Cool. All right. Not too shabby. All right, we have clawed our way back to... We're going to finish 500. Let's see if we can, like, make it a successful -ish draft by getting to four. Because, well... All right. We're on the draw. We need, an, we need a mountain. Uh... Right, a mountain here would be best. Black, white, sure. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. All right, so we had a dream of finishing uh, with a reasonable record. All right. Uh, Like, red source, please? Like, he's just gonna die. There's nothing I can do about it, but I also didn't want this to flip. Which, you know, a 4-4 lifelinker is a pain for my blue-red deck. Short. Uh, resolve. Land. Okay. Um, what do I want to do here? So... I can, I want to get as much out of this poppet stitcher as I can, right? But it does not use my mana well. So we're going to attack. Alright, then we're going to play an organ hoarder. 
and hopefully get a mountain. Yeah, that makes the most sense. It, like, lets me do the most. And, like, we're building towards this Seize the Storm. Right. So, not a huge fan of just playing the Poppet Stitcher and then not following it up with a flurry of spells. But, like, this is the way to be most efficient with my mana. And it got me a mountain. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh huh. So we're going to do that. So I've got to flip this back over. Is a little annoying, but fine. We'll make it two two. Sure. So that now will flip this. All right, I can't attack, but it flips that. Cool. All right, they are all in on uh, flipping that again. In your graveyard. I would like to take that action, I guess. Oh, there was an argument for not doing that. Oh, well, I think we're okay. Oh, let's do this. Let's hit that for one. Okay. I still get zomb zomboys. Let me down that. Get in for bunches. All right. All right, we are... All right, so how much power do we have on the board? We've got 10 right now. 12, you count uh, the pump off of this. All right, so that gets to block something. Awkward. Okay, wonder what they drew. Uh-huh. So do I just throw the zombies in? Um, so I can, so I can play this and play this and then play this the next turn, right? If I flash this back now, uh, I, there's a bunch of cards in here. One, two, three, four, five. Right, I get like a five, five. And then they have to block... Yeah. Hmm. This is tricky. Because I can attack for a bunch this turn. Well, here. I can go... 
this and this and then I will target not itself I'll target this all right, then I will attack with all of these things And then they take seven or ten, I guess. And that's the only the three two is the only clean trade they had. All right, so they go to three, four. All right, I lose a bunch of guys. Right, it may I don't have any use for the zombies really. So it makes sense to like get my damage while the getting's good. Because next turn I'm gonna have triggers and all that jazz. Sure. Alright, you're at five. No removal spell? No removal spell? Don't have a removal spell? That would be that would be suck. Okay. Well that sucks. Okay. Cool, let's go away. Hmm. Weak. Okay. We're gonna make a big boy here. Make you deal with that. Yeah, they... We were so close. I thought we had it there. Alright. Uh-huh. And then... I don't have a way to get something else, so... So if I attack with both, they eat one, then they eat my token. Yeah, I can't. Can't do that. Right, did my bounce spell already go in the graveyard? It did. So now they have to write the... Yep, they have to write the 6-6. Six, six. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. All right, all right. Can I get in for five? Is the question this turn? I think the answer is no. But I can make another big boy. I will take the one. Got two cards left. Jesus. Uh huh. They're going to gain a life and go to six. They're going to bottom that trash. Yeah. What is your last card? Is it a removal spell? It is not. All right. Cool, cool. So, putting together a little run here. Beating some black decks, so that's good. That's good. We're we're making it work. We're we're holding it down for not swamp. All right. 
I mean, it was pretty good that, you know, partway through the draft, we had, like, taken a few blue cards and started to feel like blue-red spells might be open. And we got to a reasonable deck, so that's not awful. Like, it makes sense. So, that is good. I mean, we could have, like, tried to stay on, like, the blue-black train, right? That would have just been been pretty rough. Yeah, okay, so I have a way to draw a card. I can get in some damage. Hopefully I draw an island to make Organ Hoarder good. Hey, this is reasonable. Alright. Really? And for true, could go for an island. But apparently not a thing that's going to happen. Alright, we're just going to play a 2-3. They flash in the 3-1, like I don't care. Do not care. Alright, I have the answer for it. I don't care. That I care a little bit more about. There's a whole lot I can do about it. Uh-huh. Wait, let's do this right. Targeting your creature. Check. Hey, there's my island that we needed. I can't believe this is a 3-drop. This card is absurd. So how many spells we got in here? Just the one. Cool. Yep. Definitely not blocking. think that we are in the midst of getting completely and totally clowned. Okay. Well, that's better. So... Yeah, I'm just going to play this now. So we can kill this next turn. I can blink in for one at the end of turn. I can kill this, get down the 3 1. Mm -hmm. I am not letting them kill all of my creatures, so I'm not going to double block because it can just put a counter on it. Seems good. So let's merc this guy. Alright, I don't think the one ones really matter here.
All right. So, do I have my bounce spell? I do not. All right. Cool. So we're gonna fight. We're gonna be fighting this battle for a while. Awesome. Let's ping you for one, so you can go back to twelve. Cool. Uh huh. How many of these? I only have two, so it's not very good. Uh huh. We can see here. Immolation this. Um. And then I'm just gonna get back the Neonate. Neonate's Rush. Right, because we're kind of digging for a bounce spell, because we need to bounce this. Which kind of sucks, but that's what we need to do. We need to bounce that. Because we're just going to keep gaining life. I'm going to be able to like, kind of keep it in check a little bit, but it is going to be annoying. Yep. Alright, so they 100% have to have the, uh, the, like, give all of your creatures plus two, plus one. Like, that's the only thing that makes sense for, uh, for what they're doing. Like the only thing that makes sense. So let's do that. Let's do this. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, so now we're hoping that I just don't get like, because I don't think I can. I don't think I can beat that, right? If they do that, I just think I lose. Like I don't think there's any coming back from from plus two, plus one to the team. This at least stops them from gaining disgusting amounts of life. What are they getting back? Sure. All right, are we attacking? Are we doing a thing? Uh. Hmm. We're it's a it's a hard hard path for me there. Okay, so we're gonna. Ping you for one. So they go to 11. Okay. Okay. Um. We're going to get in for... I think just... <sighs> what do you want to do? I know this is going to gain them a ton of life, but... Let's see what we want to do here. Right, if they live... If they live, I just die. So I'm just going to attack with this. All of them, you don't say. Okay.
Ага. So they're going to gain four. Which sucks, but I knew that was the price of doing business here. Okay, then I'm going to play this. Gonna end the turn. Sure. Dear God. Just never, ever, 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 ever getting in on the ground, am I? So I'm gonna. St All right. So we're. So do I bounce that? So if I bounce this, right, like I, I have to draw like a god to not just lose. Yeah. So let's bounce this and scry. That goes away. Put the island on the bottom. Done. We'll pass the blockers. We'll block that. Okay. So yeah, I have to. I have to draw. Amazingly well here. Pass to the end. Make another one. That was not amazingly well. So, I need, like, to draw Consider and do another Cantrip or something. If I already use my Consider. Sure. Then they flash this back and they go to 9. Urgh. So annoying. Can't flash that back. All right, what is this thing over here? Oh. Okay, so. Yeah, this is not. We are, we are not currently in the midst of a winning game plan here. I really needed to, like, save my... <sighs> There's an argument that I shouldn't have played the land. Because I want to be able to... Uh... It's here. Pass the blockers. 
So this takes th four. One, two, three, four. So they've got eight mana. This takes six. So the thing that makes the most sense mana wise, you know, both of you block, is to pump this for six and kill one thing. But then they buy it back. But at least that. Oh, they can buy it. Well, no, they can't buy it back and this turn and pump it. So, okay. Uh, resolve. Uh, next to damage. Okay. Uh, hit you for one. Hit you for one. Resolve. Yep, cool. Uh huh. All right. No attacks. <sighs> Lord. Like, I really... Like, I need the land. Like, a land for, to make this big enough to attack through would be great. Uh, yeah, like, drawing the land to make so I can make this. See, I've got blockers. Are they getting... Yep, getting that back. Cool. Am I just going to have to kill that again? Yep. I'm just going to kill that again. Okay. I feel like they win this game. Like they're on. There we go. As I say they're on pace to win this game. But like they they win it faster if they just swing out. But there is a chance that they lose it if they swing out. Seven. We still don't get to cast that. Come on, come on. Did they, did they get that one? Oh, they got it back. That's right. Like, did they draw two? No, no, they just got it back. All right. Sure, sad face. Oh, we just like went straight to the end of turn. Okay. Alright, so now I've got to think here. Because now I get a big blocker. They have the mana. So right now they've got 
10, 11, 12 attackers. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 blockers. Yeah, so I have to make them... Yeah, no, I'm dead next turn, I think. Right. But I am... I'll just hold off on that attack. Because... Yeah, if I would have drawn a card draw spell where I could have, like, cantripped into another spell. Oh, no. This is gross. Are we attacking now? Man, they desperately, desperately, desperately want me to figure out a way to win this game. Okay, so we go to five. Uh, yeah, they should have attacked last turn. Like, I really think I was dead if they attacked last turn. Right, they have they have to kill both of them. Have they killed both of the O threes? I will allow it. Whew. Yeah, they. They were quite comfortable that they could never, ever lose that game. So, yeah, I think they were, like, the, la the previous two turns, they should have, like, attacked, thrown some things away, and, like, put me to the test. But I think they were super-duper confident that there was no way I could deal them enough damage. So, I mean, I guess, I guess it worked out the way I did it, but I still think I probably should have lost. All right. Sure. Um, we need lands. We, this hand needs a lot. But we have early removal. Okay, well, there's a land. So, that's good. Okay. So I am... I am in the mood... I will play with fire something. If I can. Uh-huh. Teferi equals sad face. Explain what I'm about to do, but I'd rather show Oh, thank you. Alright, so I've got to decide. I'm just gonna try to get the damage in, I guess. Well, no, because if I don't do the if I don't play with fire now. Right, then because he's at two. Then, like, I run the risk of wasting the mana, like, wasting four mana for one damage, and that's not worth it. So I'd much rather get... do this... get my shock back, and then end the turn. So that, that turned out not too bad. I mean... I mean, they did, they spent four mana to draw a card. Like, I can, I can deal with that. My heart is still, like, ghoul. But I can deal with four mana to draw a card. Mm-hmm. 
resism. Okay. And it worked out that we got to get rid of the... That we got to get our spell back before they ate it, so that's good. Alright, so... Mm -mm. No, I want blue, blue, red. Puppet Stitcher. And we're gonna attack. I mean, they know I have the fight with fire, or the play with fire, whatever it is. Yep, they're not about that life. I'm going to take my 2-2 while I can. Get my 2-2 and some damage in. Alright. So if they play something small, I get to kill it with Play With Fire. They try to kill my Poppet Stitcher. I get to Play With Fire to make my 2-2. Yeah, so they're exiling it. Yep. Uh-huh. Done. I should have tapped it first, but thankfully I got a second. Don't want to land. Okay. Hmm. Are you getting in or are you staying back? You're staying back. All right, we're going to hang. Because I figure what happens here is they will flash this back, eating another zombie. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sure. This is the second Esper deck I've played that they just had a Teferi. That they were just like black white or blue black and they just had a Teferi. And was, what, why? So are you going to get in with your 3 4? That'd be nice. You want to get in with your 3 4? You know you want to. Yes, give me two damage. Or, well, not two damage. Kind of. You kind of give me two damage. Come on. Uh, no blocks. Because I can immolate the Flesh Taker. Yep. So I can... Immolate you, and you're going to eat a... Zombie for it not to die. I assume, so that you have a blocker. Gain a life. For some reason, thought it was neg two, neg two. I was like, why is it so big on the front end? But the reason is, it's not what I thought it was. There we go. Okay. Alright, you kill my guy. I see you, I see you. Game respects game. So we're both down to one card. 
Mm. I was gonna say, I will allow the zombie beats if this is what it comes down to. Okay. Let's consider... Uh, put that card into your graveyard. Yes. Gosh, the interface is so, so bad. Um... I'm gonna play this. I'm not gonna attack with it. I just wanna use my mana. Uh, sure. Cause like right now I can't get any damage in because of the three, four. Right, but if they don't cast a spell, it flips and then I can't get damage in. Yeah, so this is now... Mm -hmm. So this gives it plus... Plus two, plus oh, yep. Go zombie, go! Right, I mean... A 4-2 Trampler is, like, an actual, factual thing. And again, we're gonna play our... Silver Bolt. There we go. Hold our land, in case we draw the... thing. Hey. They waited too long and let us get four damage. Which is good by us. Because I could have done it like on my upkeep. And not let me get the... And not let me get the four damage in. So I'll take that. Right, I'll take that for that four damage. Okay. Cool. I'll take two. Okay, I mean, we definitely have some draws. But we are not getting any of them right now. They also have got, got them draws. Okay. It's still holding out for the flashback tormenting voice. Oh man, thrilling, engaging magic as we all as we both just pass back and forth. Cool. That's that's a thing. Eating my spells makes my flashback like. Make a trampler thing worse. So that's not cool. Oh, they got my. They got. They get creatures there? Uh, they gotta consider as well. Sure. Alright. Alright, can we. Can we stop? Can we stop drawing nothing but lands? Because that would be very helpful. I feel like I'm bordering on, like, dead on board. Because right now they have 14 power on board. And I can, like, 15 power on board. What is this? Oh, Jesus. All right, well, we drew a bunch of lands over and over and over again. So we're going to lose now. Like, that's what's going to happen. So I guess, how do I not lose? 
I have to draw like Okay, well this is a start. They just attack with this. So they attack with everything. Okay. I lost count. How many lands in a row was that? Because, like, I'm dead. Like, I drew, like, five lands in a row. When's the last spell I drew? That Silver Bolt a while back? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they... They drew some spells there in the mid-game. I... I did not. Where did we get... Sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're... I'm dead. I gotcha. Yeah, I don't know. So I think I drew, like, six... Like, five or six limbs there. So... Yeah, no. No bueno. That was not... That was not how we uh, needed that to go. Hey, but we got five wins with a blue-red deck... And we threw away our first three picks. Startle, still bad. Uh, right, we didn't play Champion. We didn't play Startle. We ended up not playing Naval Gas Intruder or Gavany Dawnbringer. And we ended up with a reasonable deck. I mean, we did open a Papa Stitcher. Hey. Um, yeah, it did just feel underpowered. It was a lot of just like holding on. And hoping for the best. Like that last game. Like you know. Crawl from the cellar. Get back my thing. And it's just like. Oh I, I can't keep up with. All of these like. Disposable tutus that you have. And like. Diagraph horn. It's like yeah cool. I can't keep up with all of that. So. I mean this was fine. It was it was a different kind of deck. But just. Felt a little underpowered. Like I said, I think we would have been better served had we had more, like, like, I still think my favorite version of this deck is, like, you know, three or four Festival Crashers, a bunch of Geist Waves, uh, Revenge of the Drowns, and things like that where you're just, like, get something out of the way, get in for three, and you're just able to do that repeatedly. This, like... We just didn't have like the uh, we didn't have the tempo options to make it work. So, but yeah, I think overall the deck was fine. Like we can make a uh, a deck work like this, not black. Though it does just feel like we played against like six black decks in that league or in that event and they all oh, they all felt better than this so yeah what are you gonna do uh but with that i was brian from the casual tryhard podcast if you like listening to me and want to hear me and my podcast partner james talk all things magic you can uh just search casual tryhard mtg anywhere you listen to a podcast uh we're on twitter at casual tripod uh, Facebook on Casual Tryhard MTG. We have a Discord. The link's in the description below. And with that, we'll catch you on the internet.